Hey everyone, Dustin Schaefer here, The Keto Pro. I was super excited about this topic. This is one of my most favorite passion topics uh, you'll, you'll ever hear me talk about. And it really comes down to, should we be counting macros? Should we be measuring stuff? Well, the reality is, is that Yes, there's success in measuring things. You know, bodybuilders, diabetics, um, Weight Watchers. There's all these different people that have been measuring things and have seen success. Um, but long term, I've never seen them be successful. Always short term, it'll see a level of success, but almost never see it long term success. And this is why. It's a primitive brain. It's a behavioral component. So what happens is when we measure macros, how much, how much fat, how much carbs, how much protein, when we measure how much vitamins you're getting and how much fiber you're getting, when we measure the weight on the scale and, and we measure your food and measure the amounts and the ounces and blah, 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 it just, it's overwhelming and it increases a stress hormone called cortisol and cortisol is a stress hormone that actually causes you to gain weight, especially around the midsection. So we don't want to stress people out. Now, is there situations where you can measure some? So I'm going to give you a couple simple systems are simple tricks that you can use to measure. So for you that need to measure, you can measure a little bit. But when people come to me and say, hey Dustin, I need a plan. Give me a plan. Give me, tell me exactly what to do. Guess what? It always ultimately fails. They'll get a short-term success, but it almost always uh, will ultimately fail. And the reason why is that there is no perfect plan. There is no exact measurement for anybody. There isn't. It doesn't work that way. You have to be able to adjust it over time. But if you stick to it, once you've made your shifts and changes, your body's gonna evolve. So you always are constantly have to be changing this thing. That's why people never stop Weight Watchers. It's like they're on it for 30 years, but yet they're never really where they wanna be either. They're never really happy. There's maybe a handful, but a small number. And so do should you count macros? My advice is no, you shouldn't. Should you be aware of your macros? Absolutely. So this is my simple rule is when you're starting out in your journey and you're, whatever your journey is, doesn't matter. Maybe you track it for the first couple of weeks just to get an idea of what you're doing. There's no right or wrong, but an idea. What am I doing? What does it really look like? Okay, let me see if I can just make a couple of adjustments and frameworks. Now, what happens next is that what you want to do is then you want to just learn how to live that way with those little adjustments. Can you make a two degree adjustment? Can you eat less carbs and live that way? If you can, then great. You shouldn't have to count them, right? To know exactly what one day I had 17 and the other day I had 27. Is that okay, Dustin? I actually don't know. It maybe it's okay. Maybe that threw you completely out of whack. We don't know. We have to figure it out, but we know that less is better. It carbs or at least carbs are relatively, right? So once a month, check in. Once a month, use the scale. Once a month, maybe check out your day of your macros to kind of give yourself an idea of where you're at. So my rule is if you want to measure, measure once a month. The first couple weeks, you can do it as a way just to kind of get an understanding of where you're at. But once a month, measure because anything more than that, it becomes obsessive and you, be, you try to decide what's right or wrong and just that does not work long term. If you think about the paleo man or the caveman or women or everybody in the ancestor, do you think that they were measuring everything? No, they were just hoping to get happy to get food. So what we know is this, eat less food, eat less often, eat when you're hungry and keep your carbs down and eat as clean, healthy, pure foods as possible. You are in a good place. We know that that you need to measure that. No, you don't. Just do those things as often as you possibly can and then make subtle adjustments. Follow the page, like the page, follow everything else that I'm saying down here in our page, in our YouTube channels, in our Facebook page, in our websites. Follow everything else and you'll get a plan. You'll figure out your plan, your system that ultimately you can live your life with without measuring everything. That doesn't work long term, y'all. Have an unbelievable day. Share this video if you get value from it. At least like my page.